Okay, Riftmax Cinema has just been updated with DK2 support, so I'm going to jump on in and give it a go, see what it's like. Now, I did try uh, Riftmax Cinema with the DK1, and uh, I have tried it with a monitor, so it has, you, you know, got plenty of options. If you don't have a DK2, you can still jump on in and use it. Uh, it's agreed to the terms and conditions, but it's definitely going to be interesting to see what it's like with the DK2 and uh, what's changed. So, so pick an avatar, male. So be as generic as possible. Let's just go for the default one. Don't know where it's got my name from. Psychic software there. Let's uh, go. Let's create. I'll create my own little cinema now. For those that don't know. Riftmax Cinema is essentially just a virtual cinema which allows you to watch films in virtual reality but what's really nice is also a, a social cinema and it's networked so you can create a, a, a server uh, with your cinema and people can join and you can watch things together let's create a start a new theatre, it's that simple game world, no password, start your theatre off we go, I think it's loading the images pause on the screen. Oh, and we're in. Well, that was pretty cool. Let's try and find my actual my room, my cinema room. Just checking the recording is working, and it is. W S and D to walk around. Uh, mouse to look. I am already in the corridor of my cinema. Immediately with a CK two. What's this? Force sync. Yes. Okay, well, I guess you can pick your film. I'll skip that for now. Immediately with the DK2, uh, the, the resolution <laughs> it is absolutely blows the DK1 out of the water. I did When I tried this with the DK1, you did feel like you were in a virtual cinema, in a virtual world, and the screen did appear, seem really big, and it was awesome, but this just takes it to a new level. This cinema building as, as well seems to be... Uh, a different uh, high resolution textures or might just be a DK2 doing that but it looks like a different layout looks more polished nice clean floor nice clean chairs unlike a real cinema where there'd be uh, liquid on the floor pop popcorn it would smell and there'd be a woman with really annoying big hair sat in front of you now if you might not have uh, guessed I, I absolutely detest cinemas in the real world I like the idea of being in a you know big room dedicated for watching films with awesome sound and a giant screen that's fantastic uh, but sitting with other people, talking, playing with the phones, and generally being annoying is is my it's that's the worst way to watch a film as far as I'm concerned. But this, this is the future. You can, whoa! Sh oh, it's my shoulder. <laughs> Every game's a horror game with the DK2. My eyes watering there. <laughs> Scared a tear out of my face. Um. Oh, hello. Okay, someone's joined my server. Uh, yeah, well, with this you can join in with some friends and uh, watch a film together without any annoying people. Absolutely amazing. Now let's uh, load a video, live stream. You can play straight from YouTube, so let's go for it. I've copied the uh, a video link. Let's see if this works. Send stream to players. Yes, everyone can watch. Hello, dude. Oh, he's in a bit of a weird posture. <laughs> oh, it's Inception. It's game of muscle in a game of muscle. Turn the volume down a little bit. <laughs> Absolutely insane. Hello, it's me and it's me. <laughs> That's like a... This is like ego inception as well. Look at this guy. I wouldn't trust anything he says. Absolute idiot. British people, don't trust him. And uh, look at him. He's enjoying my film. I've, uh, I've turned into a... Uh, let's nod at him, see if he knows me. He's enjoying it. Hello. So I sm smile or... Okay, so different keys to different faces. Shock. He seems happy. He's enjoying it. Well, it looks like this could be a a, a thing of the future. Game of Muscle Cinema Night. Actually, it'd be really cool to get a bunch of YouTubers together. Uh, people that make decent videos, not stupid game videos like mine, but people that make short films, and just do a screening night through using YouTube, and everyone can sit and watch the films, and then you can lift the. Screen. There's an option to lift the screen up if it's the same as the previous one. Stage controls. Raise screen. You could lift the screen up and have a talk about the film. I mean, absolutely. And the thing is, I don't know, I think it supports 40 people, but imagine 
getting, uh, I don't know, Steven Spielberg, I'm sure he'd be up for this. Have him w watch a film and he he could uh, be on the stage and give a talk about it. And you could have you could have thousands of people watching. There's no need for them to all be in the actual same server. It could be uh, branched off. And you could do one of those uh, things that's normally reserved to private cinema nights and cinema clubs where you could actually engage with the filmmaker. And of course you could have done that before VR, but it just makes more sense in a VR environment. So that's, that's, that'll be absolutely thrilling. This guy's loving it. He's loving the game of my soul. Fantastic. Let's walk to the top of the film. Uh, film? Cinema room. It's just pretty unbelievable, though. And you can see why Facebook, Facebookulus, would be interested in the sort of uh, metaverse VR world and why companies want to create a sort of VR second life situation. Because when you try it with a, with a virtual reality headset on and you jump on in... Uh, it just makes sense. Second Life to me on a screen doesn't make much sense. It's a nice creative tool in the sort of build, you know, build stuff and there's a good social tool. But the, the moment you put a VR headset on and feel like you're immersed in a virtual world, it, it takes it to another level and makes it make more sense. But that's probably a load of nonsense. You really, really just have to try it. Let's get on the stage. Just, uh, hello. Yes, this is... Uh, uh, Oh, I'm too small. <laughs> and uh, this would be a good tool for getting over talking, talk anxiety to big audiences. Again, every single Oculus Rift experience has the potential to be a tool for nightmares. Unbelievable. I'm going to put the screen back down. You can also load 3D films, uh, films off your hard drive. I don't know how well they sync over the internet, but... Let's do the stage controls. And, uh... Oh, no, that's the wrong thing. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, he's gone. Get out. <laughs> no watching films for you. Uh, open the curtains and lower the screen. That's what we wanted. Oh, you can change the rear screen from small to large. But Okay, we've got the big screen on now. Um, I don't know if I said it yet, but there's a karaoke night that's run on this you should just google riff max karaoke night and uh they use they sync up um youtube i think it's using youtube videos with the lyrics and someone on stage sings along and everyone can watch them do a karaoke night and join in uh, it's really strange and bizarre but it, it works and it's an interesting experience to take part in so google riff max cinema karaoke night absolutely fantastic you, well you've got to check this out I'm I'll do another video about this uh, further on I did it with some other people in it so, uh, so you can get an idea of how the avatars and everything work but as an introduction to Rift Max Cinema unbelievable uh, this is another top piece of virtual reality software that has to be tried uh, I'm going to put together soon actually I'll put together a list of uh, a list of uh, virtual reality software and demos the sort of top 10 or top 5 experiences that really have to be tried when you get your DK2. Uh, Rift Max Cinema, definitely going to be in that list. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Subscribe uh, and like to it if you do enjoy it and uh, look out for more videos and uh, goodbye.